Hello, hello. Uh, checking in with my first audiobook in a little while. It's There, There by Tommy Orange. A uh, 2018 novel that follows 12 characters uh, living in Oakland, California, dealing with uh, depression, alcoholism, fetal alcoholism, uh, kind of living living in a kind of a ambiguous non-white existence in the gigantic melting pot, which is United, the United States. Um, starts out with a sort of kind of 101 essay on genocide, um, on, on basically the extermination of native peoples, uh, and then what those people do once they've been exterminated and have been wiped from the memory of this big country, but are still around, still there, still still kicking. Um, so we get a lot of uh, first-person things. I'm never going to remember all the names of the people in this. I guess we'll see if I do, but I, I doubt it. Uh, start off with a kid with uh, fetal alcohol is alcohol syndrome who definitely has kind of the face that face of a fetal someone with fetal alcohol syndrome um who seems to be kind of you know falling in with is somebody who's like we're gonna rob the powwow and it's like you're gonna hide the, the bullets and we're gonna get that thing going uh talking about his mother who was you know obviously was drunk when she had him and all that uh, we do uh, a, a, a native kid who is uh, going to apply for an arts grant, which he actually does get, which he's taken the, the idea from his uncle who died of liver failure, that he's going to uh, set up a camera and interview uh, native people, but just set up the camera and then walk out of the room and they just tell their story. Uh, and then he'll get that a true kind of snapshot, which... In a novel that is kind of bumping out, bumping through 12 characters' points of view, you wonder if that's a little bit of a kind of a thing. But of course, you know, even if the filmmaker did that, you're selecting who, you're probably going to edit the film. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, obviously the author is still going to get in the way, plus and minus. Um, we uh, go back in time to what oh, who uh, Opal Violet Bear Shield Two Shoes Two Shoes Bear Shield, where uh, you get the sense that she's probably the sister of um, the, the fetal alcohol syndrome kid at the beginning, uh, who mother looks like she's drunk, gets raped by the guy. Um, and has the kid. Um, and this is all taking place uh, as they've come to what I believe is Alcatraz Island for protest, which, you know, does get support and stuff. We don't see any of that, but I think that's the kind of historical contract, con um, context of, like, you know, Oakland, California and stuff like that. Um and we go to kind of present with a really overweight guy who's basically just sort of in his room on his computer all the time, thought his computer died. It was like, holy fuck, I'm really screwed. I uh, can't take a shit. Uh, is completely constipated. Symbol, symbol, symbol. Um, and, uh, you know, having a talk with his mother about stuff of like, you know, can I get a, you know, getting a job he's got like a degree in gosh, is it comparative literature it's like he's got a fairly high i think it's ma in in uh in in the thing and he's like looking for jobs but it's like you know it's like he wanted to be like a novelist but he's like he's just stuck in the room and he's looking at kind of you know grant writing jobs and things like that and it's like you know getting a maybe getting a job at the at the uh the Indian Center, the Native Native Friendship Center that his mother works at, who gets drunk every evening, is the kind of substance abuse kind of coordinator there. So there's stuff happening there. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the that's the start of there there and yes, there there is 
uh, from the phrase, there's no there there anymore. Like, you know, whatever that mythical kind of, you know, place that um, someone would be a native person's home is not there anymore. There's no there there, I think is, is sort of a, my encapsulation of what that is. So yeah, that's the first part. Um, yeah, I found the essay a little bit 101. I guess you're maybe targeting this to people who don't know that, don't know about that. You're writing for a, predominantly the white audience or, you know, people who would be ignorant of it. Maybe you would have Native people who would also need that information. It's, you know, always about one of those questions of audience. Obviously, this did break out into a wider audience um, and should be penalized for that just probably because I've read Thomas, I was reading Thomas King and I've read some other things. So it's like, I've read three books, so I'm above this now. It's like, no, probably not. Probably not. So I should keep that in check and try and listen to what Tommy Orange has got to say. All right. I will leave it there. Oh, and just the news that Louise Eldridge, who actually gets name checked in this book, has apparently just won the Pulitzer for her latest novel, which is, hey, that's awesome. I really liked, I've really liked uh, other works of hers, so uh, that's pretty awesome. Neat. All right, I will leave it there. More videos later.